Today I have something that is urgent for your recipe list and it is called Jamaican style oxtail. First thing, we've got a half oxtail, half lamb knuckles. See, you can't even tell the difference. And then we're gonna put those over there. And what we're gonna do is season. No reason not to season. Season these really, really well. Pepper. I'm gonna sprinkle on a little bit of flour. This is gonna help for later on. We're gonna take these back here. And we're going to plop it in this hot, hot pan and get the searing. So while the sauteing is busy happening over there, I'm gonna get our aromatics together. Got a nice roughly chopped up big, big onion over here. I got some ginger, but not just any ginger. I got baby ginger from Woolies. Look at that, take a moment. The peel is so thin that you can just grate straight into it. So we've got about two tablespoons of that. We've got four cloves of garlic here. Garlic lovers, feel free to add two more. I won't tell. We've got some celery, which is my own addition. It's not necessarily something that is traditional. So I'm gonna roughly chop that over there. I don't think that I have done a stew without celery in like forever. So we've got some spring onion and a great deal of it because in Jamaican cooking, spring onion is fundamental. That freshness is just something else. Slice some of that. Onion, this amazing ginger, it just smells so divine. Garlic over here, our beautiful fresh greens. We've got that celery. We've got the spring onion in there. And I am doing a great job. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. This is a mixture of allspice berries, which I've crushed up nice and fresh. I've got some smoked paprika in here and some nutmeg. And at this point, this is when we're gonna throw the thyme in as well. Medium curry powder here, tomato paste. Stir it, stir it, stir it, stir it. Time to add our meat back. Combine everything real nice. Try not to get lamb knuckle all over the stove. This is a nice low sodium soy sauce that I picked up at Woolies. Stir that through nicely. Deglaze that pot. By deglaze, we mean make the pot easier to wash later. <laughs> Muscovado sugar. It doesn't overpower the dish, but it does create that caramelly sweetness that you're looking for. Jamaican orange Scott Bonnet chilies. They are dangerous in all the best ways. We're going to add our water to the whole thing. We're gonna pop a lid on this. We are gonna go and have a drink later. We're gonna go back to that whole aromatic situation we're in, but this time it's just gonna be these beautiful, tender spring onions. We are also going to go back in with another onion. What I really, what I really enjoy about Jamaican flavors is that they love onions as much as I do. Doesn't have to be super neat, you guys. This is a dish that is all about flavor. We're going to allow this to simmer for another 45 minutes. Dunk these guys in here. It's all ready and it's looking pretty sexy. So we've got some jasmine rice here, which I've cooked with some red kidney beans and black beans. And then I just threw some celery leaves and chicken stock in there. It disintegrates almost parts of it into the sauce and it's kind of every single thing that I've ever wanted. That is so good. I feel like making oxtail feels like such an achievement, especially when you make it in this way. No one's had it like this. Make this particular one. You guys, what? do I keep eating? 